Okay, we've arrived here now, and I actually stopped a beetle ship on the way to pick up some more bait, because, uh, I'm gonna need that if I'm gonna be exploring these high seas. I think I already killed this blue chew jelly when I was here before, but, uh, better safe than sorry, right? Yeah. Mm, I think I'll, I also saw the mailbox wiggling on my way up here, uh, yeah, look at this, we got mail, sweet. Good morning! I'm used to saying that good, seeing that say good evening, but... <laughs> It's kind of weird. I mean, who gets mail in the morning? Mail's not even delivered in the morning. How are you doing, Argon? Do you have enough of Granny Soup? Where are you now? You may be closer than I suspect. Actually, we're kind of on opposite sides of the world, Granny, but, uh... Are you hungry? Are you keeping warm? You haven't injured yourself, have you? You always work so hard, Argon. Do you have enough ru- I have plenty of rupees. Oh, God. I can see where this is going. Don't- No. Oh, I don't need anything else. Mm, Grandma... Oh, that... It's, it's sweet of her, it really is, but it's just like... Really, Grandma, I don't need that. I have like 1,400 rupees, and you're sitting here giving me what little you could save up, as he put it. Oh, my goodness. Well, we'll just forego that for now, I guess. Uh, Here's Salvatore. Like I said, only come here in the daytime, and you'll be able to do this. Ah! Oh! oh, never mind. My mistake. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, step right up. If you have confidence in your target shooting, why don't you give this a shot? It's 50 rupees per game. Wanna try? Fit? Really? F oh my god, I don't remember it being that qu quite that uh, expensive. Well, let's see here. <laughs> oh ho ho! You're the little shrimp who thinks he's a target shooting hot shot, eh? And you say, knowing this full well, that our that we are pirates who are so frightening that crying babies shut their mouths when we step into the room. That's probably because your armpits stink, dude. The babies are just like they faint. That's what happens. If you can manage to sink the five power ships you can see on the horizon, we'll acknowledge your skills with the cannon, you shrimpy little landlubber. However, we won't tolerate any comments about how the pirate ships look like barrels, and you only got ten shots. Do you hear me? You can move your cannon. That's controls. I don't really care about that. I got it. Why doesn't I want to say I I man? Keep with the pirate theme here. All right, yeah. Mm. Hey, those pirate ships look like barrel men. Okay, um. So this is actually a little bit more mathematical than it than it would seem for like a mini game or something, but it's actually not that bad. You can see that you can aim your cannon, but anywhere between 15 and uh, 50 degrees, I think. And these barrels will only be like in increments of five degrees away, so it won't be like 27 degrees randomly or something. It'll always be a multiple of five. So that's a handy trick. I think this is probably 30 actually, judging by the distance. I'm usually pretty good at judging these, but uh, I'm not perfect, so bear with me here. That might be 35. Actually, it could still be 30. I don't know. I think if you're just one off of the degree two, then you'll still hit it. Oh, it's 40. Okay. Like if you're st if you're just one degree off, then you'll probably still hit it. I'd wager that. That's about 42, I think. Wonder if you can hit that merman. I saw him out there. Yeah, buddy. And you're actually going to have to play this game twice to reap all the rewards that you want. Psh, wow, nice shooting. But we won't hand over our price. That's treasure so easily, yeah? Miss, miss, miss. Oh, no, here we go. <laughs> Boy. Gonzo, you're at least an honorary member of my family, are you not? So act like it. Don't lose your head, you jackass. You're a talented little kid. I like you. <laughs> you know, what are you, Darunia? As we promised, here's our treasure. It's yours, so take it. And for all that, we get our heart piece. I, that reminds me, I gotta remember to pick up that heart container when I go by Dragon Roost, because that is on my route here today. Nice job and all that. Uh, leave Vi the ladder behind me, or I could just hop off into the ocean and kill myself. Hmm. So I'm probably going to cut out this second game, but uh, it's just going to yield a treasure chart here. So, But you've seen how this works, so yeah. No point showing it twice. That would just be redundant. Oh my god, that was really far away. I guess I can, like, quickly bring up, just as I'm, uh, finishing this up here, is that something I've heard, I've never actually tried this myself, but apparently if you, like, dock your boat out where those barrels are, you can actually hit your boat with a cannon, and apparently it does something really funny. I'm not sure. I don't know what that could possibly yield that would be that great. W wait a second. Miss, miss, <laughs> he done did it again. He hurt my feelings. What do you want? Don't you know how to keep quiet, you scurvy dog? Oh, I was just wondering now who's out here. And look at this. It's you again. Look at you and your adorably cute face of yours. Oh, shucks. <laughs> I can't help but give away our treasure to you. It's yours, so take it. Yeah, Link's face is adorable. 
Oh my god, I give him a piece of paper too. And anytime you play this after, if you win, you uh, win 100 rupees. So it's actually not too bad for rupee grinding. Though it does cost 50 to play, so it's only 50 profit every time. But I suppose it could be worth it. Anyways, uh, I'll see. Uh, damn it, I want to stab those crabs one of these days. Maybe, maybe here? Damn it. Alright, where'd my boat go? Where'd I dock that bitch? There he is. Um, so what is next on my little thing here? It says Rock Spire Island. Yeah, okay, so that one should be one square southwest of us right here. We haven't been to it yet. But I will meet you there. Oh, man, that's so cool. Conducting in the rain with the lightning striking behind you. Perfect picture image. Someone totally needs to make, like, a watercolor of that or something. Oh, hey, there's three, three platforms over there? Really? Oh, shit. Well, um... Yeah, there's actually quite a bit to do in this square now that I think about it. There's, uh... So much to do even before we actually get to the island itself. And I guess we can start with these platforms since they're pretty much the closest thing to us. If I remember right, these platforms are actually a little bit, uh... It's kind of puzzling to how you do this, but... It's really not that bad. It's not the hard puzzle by any stretch. No puzzle in this game is really that bad. I mean, I pretty much solved it on my first try when I was like, uh... How old would I have been? I don't know. Couldn't have been, like, old, any older than ten, though, I don't think. Oh, there was one part that I got stumbled on for quite a long time, though. It was, like, right after the Tower of the Gods or something. I don't know. I think it was in the Tower of the Gods, actually, where I got stuck, and I just, like... <laughs> I think I figured that it was, like, the end of the game. Like I said, when I first went to there, like, oh, I thought, like, this was so epic and monumental. It has to be the end of the game. And I just guess I got stuck in the final dungeon, which was fair to me at the time, because I thought it was the final dungeon, but, uh... Nope. Sorry. Alright, yeah, you purple guys, I need your pendants too. Sorry. Yeah, here we go. Alright, now let's, let me just wail on you. Oh, shoot, I just knocked off two of them at once. Sweet. <laughs> oh, God, there's no cannons on this platform either, are there? I know there's cannons on the other two platforms, but this one is perfectly safe. A red rupee. What a pleasant surprise. Mm-hmm. And as you might suspect from the whirlwind circling these two other platforms, you're going to need to use the wind to your advantage in order to make these other two platforms accessible to you. Your wind and the Deku Leaf will be the ultimate resources here. So, let me see. Uh, is it east? That should be good enough, right? Yeah, that's pretty perfect. Alright, let's do it. Mm, oh shoot, I need that whirlwind. It doesn't look like I did. I think, actually, if you, like, get in that whirlwind, though, you can... What just... What just happened? Something just blew up that cannon, and it wasn't me. Oh, God. And now I can't see what I'm doing, because there's smoke everywhere. And where there's smoke, there's fire, but not here. See ya. Yeah, but if you get caught in that whirlwind on the way here, I think you can actually, um... Land on top of the platform. It's actually really cool. I kind of want to do that. I might actually do that or something. We'll see. Hmm. So there's really nothing over here? Well, maybe I just, if I destroy the cannons. I'm perplexed. I guess one of the cannons shot the other one. But the thing I don't get is that there's no other cannons on that middle platform. At least I didn't think there were. So, like, what could have possibly had such a trajectory as to hit that cannon? Unless he, like, shot himself. I, I don't know. That would be really weird, but... <laughs> it's really weird regardless. I mean, it's awesome. Maybe the boat did something. Who knows? Mm, but there you go. Golden feather. Boo. Frickin' yeah. And, uh... Yeah, I get it. A certain certain strangeness. Well, it's strange that they make me read that text every time, I tell you. I mean, that's just silly. Wait, what's this? Why is there an orb there? Is that... Oh, I guess that's probably from one of the Bokoblins, like, dying and falling in the water. I was really confused by that for a second. It's like this whole series of platforms is super enigmatic. First, self-exploding cannons, and then just, like, randomly appearing orbs. At least I managed to explain the orb after a second, but... Alright, now we're gonna go westward onto the other one, which we're actually gonna need the whirlwind for this one, so... Here we go. Okay. And just like the whirlwinds at, uh... 
the forest haven. You actually have to kind of lead these, so I jump right about now. That should be good. Actually, it might have been a bit early, but you still got it if you just curve. Oh my god, that was so cool! <laughs> just how the freaking oh shoot 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 shoot! Oh, I'm gonna land on it! Ha <laughs> ha! Sweet. It's actually more fun to actually land on the skulls, which you can do on the lower platform if you uh, use the whirlwind, I think. But holy crap! I love being on top of these, I tell you what. There's only, there's a very few of them. Actually, this might be the only one that you can get on top of, but, uh, or the only, like, series of platforms that you have a chance of getting on top of. There might be one more that I'm not thinking of, but... Or you guys are dummies. Mm. Yeah, go fall into the ocean with y'all ass. And, um, uh, I'm not exactly sure. I, I'd imagine we're gonna get something pretty good for this platform because this one is actually kind of hard to get to. I did like how we got that shot of the, like the bomb. Oh my god. <laughs> that was smart. How we got the shot of like the bomb flying through the air as we were sailing over to this. It was really cool. So what's our ultimate reward here? It's oh, an orange rupee. I'll take that. Take that any day of the week, man. Okay. Now that we're done with these platforms, we're going to go ahead and, before we head to the island now, we're going to tackle what is, in my opinion, probably the most enigmatic uh, heart piece in the entire game to f find on your own. I wouldn't go necessarily as far to say that it's like a Nintendo Power heart piece or something stupid like that, mostly because people didn't even use Nintendo Power for this game. They used, this is like when strategy guys started coming into play. But if you head over here... You actually see there's two cannon ships out here, and this is kind of weird because normally cannon ships are reserved for reefs and stuff, or just, just I don't know, screwing you around in, like the Islet of Steel or whatever. But these ones are just kind of out here in the middle of nothing, so uh, you might find, you might think, I don't know, it's kind of a rare chance, but you might, you might think that there's something special with these. Oh shit, dude, I can't get a shot off on this guy. Judging by how things are going, though, that other one might kill him before I do. Dude, what is he firing at, anyways? That was a terrible shot. Okay, can I? Dude, oh my god. You, oh, I'm sucking! <laughs> this isn't that hard. All you have to do is move a control stick. Here we go. There we go. And, uh... Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. I passed it. That's okay, though, because, uh... Those orbs that they drop mark the exact spot where the treasure is, so. And like I said before, or like I alluded to before, one of these guys actually conceals a heart piece when you kill him. The other one I think has an orange rupee, so it's, and there's really no way to tell which one, so you might as well just kill both of them anyways, because all we can use are rupees. I like how there's a big orb covering my face there. And now it's in the scene hog in the glory, because it's all shiny and purdy. Yeah, but there's your orange rupee for now. Your face is beaming. That most certainly is. And he's gonna hit me. Oh, I don't think he has a large enough arc of trajectory to actually hit me from where he was. That's kind of cool. Wow, we're sailing into the sun, and he's like sort of silhouetted there. Kind of symbolic, I guess. All right, I only have 12 bombs, so I gotta make this count, man. It seems weird how like the closer you get to these guys, the less accurate their shots tend to be. Like, you can see I got really close to this guy, and he just started firing in the most random directions. I, I just don't even know. So, like, they start freaking out, and they, like, think you're on top of them or something, and they're just like, Oh my god, where is it? Gotta fire in every direction as fast as I can! Oh! And they just end up hitting nothing at all. Except blank air. Again, covering my face! Is that gonna be, a, like, become a meme of this LP? Oh, highly unlikely, because that's probably the last time you're ever gonna see it. Hell yeah, man. Three so far. Man, that's three in this, like, recording, even. Probably not three in this video, because they probably got split somewhere by now.